वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टुडेज टॉपिक इज अबाउट हाउ टू ड्रॉ सी शेल्स एंड देन कलर देम इन ऑयल पेस्ट ओके सो विल बी डूइंग टू टाइप ऑफ शेल्स हियर ओके मे बी वन और टू मोर ड्रॉइंग विल कवर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ शेल्स ऑल्सो बिकॉज द ओरिएंटेशन ऑफ मोस्ट ऑफ द शेल्स आर डिफरेंट लाइक इन दिस टू शेल्स यू विल फाइंड अ लिटिल ब्लॉक ऑफ पैन शेप शेल एंड से स्पाइरल शेप Uh, shell, uh, two little different ones. Okay, so now how do we go about drawing the fan shape shell? Okay, is we have to make a uh, a uh, line like this, a line like this. Okay, then curve it. Okay, and then make a nice curved line like this. Okay, and then one more line below that, curved like this. Okay, after this, just touch. Okay. Now, once uh, not not this one, we'll make these two lines. Then, just turn the book a little bit. Do these lines, okay, slanting lines. So this is a bigger one. This the uh, this area is smaller, then bigger, then smaller, then bigger, then smaller, then bigger, then smaller, then bigger, then smaller, then bigger, like that. Okay. and after this we can just do a notch like this here see like this okay and then we can do uh, then uh, later on we can say a is this line because this is only the guidelines for those purpose okay i hope you understood the whole shape like So a uh, slanting line like this, slanting line like this, then a curve. Okay, and this lines like this, and then make few lines you now on this like this, right? A few of them like this here, okay, like as you go smaller, this uh, uh, this this uh, height also reduces. Okay. Now the next one is about the circular shape. Okay. So here, what we'll do is uh, make a rectangle first. Okay, a rectangle. Okay, and in this rectangle, we'll do one square which is equal to this. So this one and this one they are equal. They equal this one. So there is a rectangle, and inside that there is a square. Okay. So we join these two diagonals. Which one? One is of the uh, square. And the other one is of the rectangle. Okay, not this one. Okay, the opposite one. Okay, if you are doing this one, then the cross of it, not here, like this. Okay, so there, the center point here, you will get the center of the shell. Okay, that is how we obtain the center of the shell. Okay, so when it crosses here on this line, okay, we have to make a straight line like this. Okay, then a standing line like this. Then again a sleeping line like this. Okay. Then a standing line. Then a sleeping line. Then a standing line. Then a sleeping line. Then a standing line. Then a sleeping, standing, sleeping, standing, like that. Okay. And that is how we arrive to the center of the shell. Okay. Now after that, you can have this curved portion a little bit, like this. Okay. So along this, when we are going, yes. So going along along this. Okay, then along this, okay, and then along this, then along this, okay, then this, then along this, then along this. So that is how we keep doing this whole and finally arrive here. Okay. So that is how we get these points. See, like this, and then we just do these lines like this. See, same way: a bigger one, smaller one, a bigger one, smaller one, a bigger one, a smaller one, like this. And then I made a small scene, like it's uh, say these are uh, on the beach uh, sort of thing. So there, uh, you know, you can make uh, in the background trees. So 
Yeah, you must have seen my tutorial on how to draw coconut trees. Uh, okay, and some you know people sitting here uh, where there's a small hut like there's a few more coconut trees like this. The sky, a little bit of mountains, a boat is there. And just to fill up the scene, and there is some rocky area behind this, like that, just to create a nice scene. This will be the shadows a little bit here, like this. There will be shadows here, like this. Okay, so I hope you have understood this uh, particular portion. Okay, now let's uh, start coloring it with oil pastel. So let's uh, do the background a little bit uh, first, and then we can go towards uh, the rest of the area. Okay, so same. Method, uh, the background, let's say it's a daylight uh, thing, so we can have a very nice yellow sky, a little bit of light orange in between, like this. Okay. And here we can have a little lighter color somewhere to just show that uh, the sun is somewhere here like this. So there it will be a little lighter color like this. Okay, uh, just do this like this. Okay, so I hope this is understood. Okay, so let's do this uh, more little, more of, uh, you know, uh, putting some more pigment here. Okay, and then we can do a little bit of light orange. Uh, at a few places like this and then just merge them also we can yeah, merge them with a cloth or we can merge it with uh, any uh, there are some um, you know blending tools also available in the market but i generally don't uh, you know blend much here yeah, so that you know this type of pastel surface is always seen okay maybe uh, where the sun is there that portions we can have a little bit of uh, a smooth color, something like you know, with uh, uh, smoothing with some cloth. Okay, so now this is done. Let's uh, uh, do quickly the backgrounds. So we can do it much, much faster. Okay, so say you can do a little bit of dark brown here, like this. Okay, a little bit of dark brown. This, and then you can do a little bit of of one sienna little of the outer that is a way okay so we just color this uh, portion first uh, a little bit of light brown and then a nice bright color we like this exposed to the sun this particular portion okay similarly here the mountains are a little far off so we can show them with uh, a little bit of violet, okay, like this, uh, very, very light color, okay. Yeah, part of mountain, but since it's uh, almost very, uh, like the light is quite good, uh, we will not see that much of, uh, you know, dark violet or so, okay. Uh, maybe in the later part of the day, uh, somewhere when you're approaching the evening, that time you'll find the mountains looking almost very, very dark violet to even blue also. Okay, so this is uh, this is done now. Okay, now let us uh, do the, uh, uh, what I say is uh, the shell. Okay, so for the shell purpose, I am using two colors. Okay, so I just want to, I'm just trying to find out my correct color. Just give me a minute. So maybe I don't have that light. Uh, it's all finished now. So maybe uh, this, this is a little bit of light yellow color, like this. The light yellow got misplaced or it got finished while well coloring so like this. A so little bit of light yellow here. Okay. The first color. Okay. I'm doing a shell which is uh, a very, very uh, darker shell, but then the background, I'll have to put some sort of uh, you know, light 
yellow pigment here. Okay, and put the light yellow pigment like this. Okay, just a little bit. But if you see the way we have colored this, say it's in a particular direction, okay? and here we can have some more uh, light yellow I am having, I could find. So here also, but very light there inside there. Okay, like this. So uh, basically the shell's base is ready now. Okay, now what you can do is pick uh, <coughs> one sienna on this and just keep doing here like this. You can vary the color a little bit of, uh, you can take a little bit of dark brown also like this, somewhere here and there. Little dark brown, little one sienna. So we can have so many uh, colors like this. Okay. So basically we try to get the texture right. Okay, so I'm just putting the buns sienna quickly first. Uh, you people uh, do a lot of skipping of videos, so you know you mm, don't understand the whole thing first and then you do write to me saying that uh, we are not understood this part or something like that. Uh, so you should uh, make it a habit to see the full video because see these are all uh, very different techniques uh, which uh, will not find much of them in the books as such. Okay, so um, my request is uh, you should uh, do all the I mean to uh, see the full videos. Uh, it will help uh, you uh, to. Uh, learn about uh, particular. Otherwise, uh, there's no point. You know, just seeing the videos and then uh, some more. You have to practice it along with the video also sometimes. Okay. Uh, here I am going very very fast uh, because see I am used to handle a lot of pastels. So see I am doing this little bit of dark brown also somewhere here on this as a little getting some little bit of texture like this. Here, okay. So here, here, here. Just trying to get uh, some few colors like this. Okay, on this. Okay, I hope you people are understanding the, the color you got. I think, uh, and this shell will look very, very nice also later when you, you know, when it, it it is fully done like that. So if you see this way, okay, then I can take. You see, you generally get a uh, tool like this, uh, which has some, you know, serrated edges uh, like this. Okay. And then you can just pull it in one go like this. See, you can start from here like this and then pull. So see, you get such a nice, uh, can you see these lines? Pretty nice lines, which will keep up. See, like this. Okay. See, these lines. And uh, this tool may be in a little different shape. It will always be there in uh, pastry boxes. Okay, see so like this. So when we do these ones like this, okay, you keep doing this. So I think the beauty of the shell is now developing. Okay, like this. So you can you can see this. Uh, Okay, the shell looks uh, fantastic. Okay, and then we can do some more of, uh, you know, a little bit of yellow here and there, just to brighten up. Okay, some places. If required, some places we can do on this a little bit of black also. Okay, because. Uh, uh, it does uh, has uh, sometimes a little bit of pigment of black like this. You can you see this uh, uh, a little bit uh, uh, once we have did this scraping of color a little bit. 
This this tool is also called as a scraping tool, I believe. Okay, I don't use it much, but then for something special like this, uh, it, it uh, I mean this is the only way we can show these lines which are there on the shelves. I think they get uh, pronounced uh, uh, on the surface very nice. Okay. So just I'm doing a little bit of uh, coloring work. To uh, you know, just beautify it a little bit. You find this here also a small portion. Okay, so I think the shelf is uh, looking quite nice. Uh, okay, so the next portion is about uh, this one. Okay, so the same way we have to take uh, a lemon yellow like this. Okay, and just keep pulling, not the entire thing, just a little bit like this. And see the way I'm just uh, rotating the book a little bit. Like this, it's turning the book. Okay, so and then here, see on this. I hope you, uh, you people, uh, it's visible to you people. Okay, so like this. Okay. Keep doing this. Uh, you can do it here also. Maybe I should have started it from here. So I hope the coloring is being understood as to what we are doing like this. Okay. I'm just following the, the spiral. But I hope uh, everybody must have understood uh, as to uh, the smaller areas you don't need to do. Because it's not much. So, But then this type of pastel effect should come on the tail surface. Because it does happen that they, they, they give a very realistic look to the shapes. Like this. Okay. And then when we do this, uh, the other side, we have to just do a shading portion like this. It's like blending the surface, the two colors. Blending, not the surface, uh, on the surface. Uh, So, so, I hope uh, you are getting the method right by now. Uh, what, how to handle pastels? I think I must have did at least some 30 odd videos on this subject as to how and uh, how to handle pastels, and then um, how we um, you know, go about coloring. There's a lot of methods uh, which are being used uh, to. Uh, see, you know, there, there are a lot of uh, you know, very different methods. You won't find much of them in books because, see, this is what uh, I could do about uh, from my experience. And uh, oil pastels is a very nice subject, uh, especially for children, uh, because uh, they have to do a lot of uh, work in their schools, especially in India. We end up doing a lot of, uh, you know, more, the school work is uh, a, a lot. Uh, okay. So there you find some places you have to do some projects like this. Okay, so I think uh, we're getting this uh, correct, uh, all of you. Okay, so, and then you can just do this yellow. Just to mix of a little bit of here, okay? Just a little bit, just to blend it. Just blending the color, okay? We can use white, but to see white I use very sparingly. Mm, uh, because uh, where you actually then require white, you won't be left with anything. 
Okay, so we generally have a habit here wherever you feel we try using white, which should not be the case. Okay, uh, and once we do that, okay, I think uh, then uh, the, the uh, next part is this particular portions you'll find a little bit of uh, black because these are the crevices where you'll find a little bit of settlement of sediments, so many things like this. So the shells. Uh, they look in good shape, I think. Hopefully, everybody agrees. Okay. So, here also, on this corner, like this, we have a little bit of black like this. Then, again, this edge is like this. And here, you will not find much of black because it's because of this. Uh, um, I mean the edges which are there, so that is why we get uh, this darkness here. Okay, but you'll find uh, on this here also it will be there, here it will be there, here it will be there, like this. Okay, here it will be there, like this. Here it will be there, like this, like this. Okay. And um, that is how we will get the shell type. Sorry. I'm just shifting the chair. Okay, like this. and then you can just again do a little bit of uh, light yellow to this. Okay, just to blend a little bit. Okay. You can use, uh, see, like this, it, it gives a very nice uh, shining effect to the thing. These pastels are a little higher grade than the student grade which we use. Okay, so you have to be very careful while using them. See, they break so much like this. They are a little bit difficult to handle, but then the best part of this uh, pastels is that they last very long. I mean, the, 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 the drawing looks fantastic uh, for years together like uh, you know whatever initial drawings which i did about 10 or years back they still look uh, very nice okay. so this is the thing okay now let us uh, go about coloring the coconut tree and do because see it's far off so you will not see much of you know, detailing here okay like this uh, you just see something or the other this uh here also there is one coconut tree okay and then the thigh roots are there like this okay thigh groups okay and then we can have a little bit of yellow offer here like this okay. and then for uh, the coconuts uh, little bit of green green one or two coconuts here okay and then these guys they will you see them little back action like this in the background okay some you know, light there so it will look a little dark okay like this okay now We'll uh, do the tree part. Okay, for that. Mm. Also, here again, same. I take a light green like this, like this. You you sh must see that uh, video on how to color coconut, uh, how to draw and color coconut trees. Mm, that is a very very nice topic. You will definitely enjoy. Okay, this is the method which we use for that. Okay, so. Here we can do a little bit of uh, yellow color on the ground uh, where you find a little bit of sand uh, here, like this. A bit of sand portion is there, here, it's somewhere here. Like this, too, 
uh, sitting here, but then uh, you won't see much of the detailing of them like this. Like this, okay. And then uh, the leaves you can do small, small lines outwards, like this, outward, like this, outward. like this, outwards. And these are all directional colorings. If you see the lines, the way it has been made. Okay. So now with that, we can do the dark brown and the Bunsiana portion of the background. Okay. So I think once uh, we do this, uh, we can show some highlights or darks like that. There's some. The hilly region. Okay. In the background, you'll find some rocky region like this. Okay. And you can have some areas like this here. Okay. And then you can do a little bit of buns here. Like this. And then you can do a little bit of yellow. Okay. Or you can do light brown also. Here I forgot to do Bansiana. And just complete this portion. This way, and then you can do uh, light brown here. Like this. I hope you people are understanding this video. See, the background has developed very nice. And the, to fancy water, we can do a little bit of ultramarine blue. Okay, and somewhere here, just a little bit of water. See in this side also. In the boat, uh, we can do again same thing, dark brown. Okay, uh, where is that boat? Oh, vanished. Show it anchored like this. Okay, so I think we have finished uh, with the shells part. Uh, now we can go about you know, coloring the base, and we don't need to do a lot of detailing there. Okay, but uh, you know, there uh, the uh, the outer portion should be much lighter. Uh, sorry, the outer portion. Uh, be more uh, deep focused, but in sand we won't be able to do much. Sorry, yes, okay. just a little bit like this. Yes. In soft pastels, uh, we can you know, blend it. Uh, more of uh, like this, there you will not get these marks like this. Okay, there uh, with the uh, white uh, paste, you can always blend it out. Like I think you understood uh, this. Just to first of all, how to draw these uh, shells, and then uh, how to go about coloring them with our textbook. Okay, and just making it a little lighter, a little lighter. And that is again with white. The black is a naughty color. You'll find the moment it touches, it gives you the impression of black everywhere. 
you just uh, merging it up like this. Still merging. So now uh, you can do a little bit of outline to the whole drawing with a uh, pencil. Here, simple one. Here in the background, we could have used uh, watercolors also. But then I thought, let me do this with entirely with oil-based tools. Because uh, in this, uh, the maximum portion, uh, the, the effect of oil pastures will be seen. I mean, to say this, uh, like this is sand. So, in watercolors, probably you'll get it uh, very smooth. Okay, but in oil paste, definitely you'll get it uh, so much, much more uh, rough edges uh, like that. Uh, so, like that, I think uh, you like the shape, okay, the span shape, and then now uh, this. Okay. Do this okay, like this. Oh, sorry. See it. Here you will not see much of detail like this. Okay. And the last thing uh, which should be done is a little blob shadow, no matter what the you know, how much dark or light it is so in the surrounding, we have to show some shadows like this. Okay. So, like this uh, and the light is coming from front so you show a little bit of shadows here also this this three shadows vanishing these guys sitting here their shadows here okay these three little little shadow vanishing in the background like this vanishing okay like that uh, this will be a bit so very very um, blurred edges of that. Okay, and then a uh, little bit of coconut trees also, a little bit of outline in maybe this part like this. Okay, you can do with this with a black pencil also. Shouldn't be a problem. And here also from there from the table. Like this, okay, and then this one. So I think the drawing is almost uh, complete. Uh, you can also add so many things like not children playing, you know, say, in the like this, we can keep doing a little bit of blend of color like this. Okay, so it's some shadows seen like this from the background. Okay, like this. So the edges uh, has to be very soft. Okay, again, uh, on this, there are a lot of my videos on how to plot a shadow uh, in action. Here, we have did it. Uh, not merely by observation, but then actually how much is the length, okay? And in that thing, you'll never go wrong. 
Okay, so when you are doing uh, with a method, the shadows, you will never, never go down. I mean, near the object, the shadows are much more darker and the moment it goes away, it uh, brightens it. And it so not brightens, it fades. Sorry. Okay, so I think our drawing is ready now. Uh, I hope you understood the method of how to draw and how to go about uh, doing the coloring part. Okay, so do practice these drawings. Uh, drawing shells is a very nice topic, I think, and you will definitely enjoy it. And uh, do share it with your all your friends, uh, relatives. I think they will also enjoy it. And do subscribe to my channel. So thank you very much. I'm ending the video here.